Okay, so this video is to show you how you would go about recreating the text on this t-shirt. So I've already typed in loved here, but I'm going to start over so that you can see right from the beginning. Okay, so I've got the font installed, so I'm just going to click my text icon over here on the left side. And then I'm going to come over to the right and I would click font over here and then choose my font, which is quirked. I can add it to my favorites here and I'll show you what that does. If I click the heart, then that font is going to be added to my favorites. Right now under fonts or under text, I should say, when you click the view field, it has all selected by default. It could be favorites or it could be just the fonts for this project. So if I click favorites, it's going to display all of the fonts here that I have set as favorites by clicking this heart. Okay, so let me go back to all. And when I click here, it shows you all of my fonts. If I change this to favorites, it's only going to show my favorites here. And if I show, sorry, if I choose this project, then it will only show the fonts that are used in this project. Okay, so that's just to show you that. And since we're only going to use that font, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to type in my text. So I have here loved all in capital letters. Then I'm going to click away and I'm going to type I John 4 colon 9. So that's my text. Then I also have this arrow. I'm going to bring that in. So since this is an image file, I'm going to choose File, Place Image. I'm going to find my arrow. I believe I had put that in my temp folder. Yeah, here it is. So it's, I've got it. Sorry, I'm not. It's not an image. It's an SVG file. My mistake. What I need to do is choose File, Import. Go back to my temp file and then I can choose my SVG file. And I've got a bunch of them in there. So I'm going to drag this around so that I can access it easily. I can also close this, by the way, the library. I don't need it right now. So just click that and close it. And if you ever want to display it again, just click the window over here and then click library and you'll see it again. So back to my arrows. I only want to use this arrow up here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to break apart. And all of my arrows are now over here. And if I want to make sure I'm choosing the right ones, I can click over here. Now, this is silly because it's really hard to see what they are because they're broken apart. I'm going to change the color, which I do over here. There's none set and that's why you're not seeing any color. So I'm going to change that to here and I'm going to change it here as well. And I'm going to change it from white to red so that it's much or orange. So it's much easier to see them. So here's the arrow that I want. So um, yep, yeah, that's the one I'm going to use. So I can either select each one by clicking and just pressing the delete key, or I can draw a box around a bunch of them. Whatever is selected is, will be deleted when I click, sorry, when I press the delete key and I can just keep deleting the ones I don't want. So this is the one I want. And let's just take this text, drag it out of the way. I'm going to put my arrow into position. I'm going to rotate it so that it's on an angle upward. And what I did is I chose, I clicked this rotate handle over here and I just dragged that. Okay, so then I, my text is obviously going to need to be larger. So I'm going to click this handle and drag it larger. And then I want to skew it. I'm going to distort it. So I'm going to click this distort icon over here on the far left and I've got these distort handles now. So the top, let's move this over here a little bit so I can work this a little bit more easily. Whoops. Whenever you make a mistake, just press Command Z and it will undo that for you. So I'm just going to click the selection arrow again so I can move this over here a little bit. I'm going to click this, my distort icon again and my D is going, uh, uh, this line over here is on a slant. 
So I'm going to grab this corner over here and I'm going to drag it up. And maybe that's a little bit far. And I don't necessarily want the L in the front to be dragged out that far. So I'm going to drag this in a little bit drag this in a little bit over here and here as well. Anyway, and so you can play around with that until you have it the way you want it. And you need to make sure that when you hover your cursor over this selection point over here, that it turns blue. Once it's blue and you drag it, it's going to drag your, your item. Okay, so that looks a little bit slanted now, but the top is still straight. So I'm going to click the selection icon and drag this down over here to the arrow. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing with this text. Make it a bit bigger. And also I'm going to click the distortion icon. Now I've got this text. Whoops. I've got this text going up. Now I need to make sure that this little handle is blue and then I can drag this up and it has quite an obvious slant to it and the bottom is straight. So this may not be exactly how, whoops, again I need to make sure that that handle is blue over here. Drag it down, so it goes even further down you can play around with it until you have it exactly the way you want it. Then I'm going to click my selection icon and drag this into place. So now it needs to be a little bit narrower and shorter to fit into place. And maybe rotate it a little bit. Anyway, so this is how you would manipulate things to sit the way you want them. Also, if you want your arrow here to be a little bit shorter. The difference of, I'm going to show you what all these handles do. Drag the arrow down here. And here are the arrows selected. So this one will just move your item. This handle will just drag the item up or down without changing the shape or the size. This handle will rotate your item as will this one over here. This arrow will drag your arrow to the right and it will resize it. It will make it wider. Notice that it does get distorted over here. I'm going to click undo so that you can see how much it distorted. This one will do a resize proportionally so that when you drag it out, both the horizontal and the vertical size is changed so that the shape of it doesn't get distorted. See what I mean? You can make it small, 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 or you can make it larger, but the size is not being distorted. So I'm going to put that back to where it was. This one I'm going to drag it out a little bit more. This one will drag the arrow down and it will resize vertically. See how it's making it thicker? And again, this one is the rotate handle and this one will move the shape to the left or right without resizing or distorting it. It just moves it. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.